Right. Mm-hmm. You don't know if you can get the truck out. Okay, well, um... It's the winter. Winter is definitely our most challenging time of year. My name is Adam Grabowski. Uh, I drive this here truck. Zone 7 is a farm fresh distribution service. We connect all these great farms in New Jersey and Eastern Pennsylvania with all the people that want their stuff. So we are sourcing only local stuff. The hardest part about winter is just making sure that there is enough local food available. So there's a number of ways we get local stuff in the winter. Uh, one is from storage. In this case, we've got your Hewn Orchard. They just built this huge new storage facility in order to keep their stuff throughout the winter, spring, until they get to the next year's harvest. We have three units here that are kept at different temperatures. Room two is a controlled atmosphere storage where it, there is no oxygen and only nitrogen and carbon dioxide. That is full of apples. The second way we have local stuff is farmers growing in greenhouses or hoop houses. Well, I mean, the challenge we have with winter production is having enough heat. Um, so greenhouse is a heated facility, a hoop house is unheated. So this is one of the unheated structures where you really have to protect what's inside. So you'll see like a double layer of protection in here. So we just need a couple hundred more of these and we'll be in good shape. Some of our farms are exclusively greenhouse operations. They're, they're using successive planting. So they're starting the seeds, they've got the little lettuce, and then, you know, they've always got some that's ready for harvest. So we are able to get the chef's fresh stuff from the greenhouses. Uh, the final way we get local stuff in the winter is working with non-produce items, such as eggs, grain products, like cornmeal, whole wheat flour, popcorn, as well as dairy products, so milk and cheese. We just rolled up to Cherry Grow Farm in Lawrenceville, which is 230 acres of certified organic pasture. Here they raise a bunch of different uh, livestock products, uh, but what they're really focusing on now is their cheese. Cheese is one of these products that is perfect for us to really promote in the winter, and the chefs can really feature it on their menus. We're at Elements in Princeton. We're going to grab a bunch of apples, Brussels sprouts, carrots, lots of potatoes, lettuce, a lot of eggs. But yeah, so they're just working with what New Jersey can offer right now. I am Scott Anderson. I'm executive chef of Elements Restaurant Princeton, New Jersey. I think the winter, obviously, produce is scaled down, which isn't a bad thing, but it causes the chefs to become more creative with what, with what they use. Really. We get great, you know, uh, wintry greens, Brussels sprouts, uh, potatoes, root vegetables, apples, um, you know, things like that. But I order from Zone 7 because I get the freshest local produce in the area. The main reason is for flavor. Um, we know that fresh carrots or tomatoes that are vine ripened are going to have the best flavor compared to any other tomato or any other carrot. Um, and if we can buy it locally uh, and support a local economy and, and in turn bring guests back to us because we've kept the money in our community or in our town, you know, I think that's very important for us. A, a connection with the community, whether it be guests or whether it be purveyors, is, is integral to our success. Uh, you are and, you know, I mean, if we think we can sell, uh, I don't know, 50 or 100 cases of beets a week for four weeks, you know, we're going to grow that much and beyond. So you always have to sort of have your hand on the pulse of what the demand is out there if you address the whole crop. And that's what this is all about, you know, just addressing the whole crop, you know. The first goal of Zone 7 is to support the local economy. So whatever these farms possibly have, buying that. I think this year will be our best year yet.